am Bopa Rivera. I am 31 years old. I am a preschool teacher and a behavior technician. During COVID, I was working from home. My boyfriend and I were living together. We were at a very high point in our lives. Around that time, I felt a lump in my breast. Because of COVID, my primary care doctor said that I'd have to call back at a later date. A few months passed and I'm feeling like this lump got bigger and I really want to get it checked out. So that's when I got to go to BMC. They noticed something on the mammogram that required me to get a biopsy. The results came back positive for cancer. I thought, okay, I'm right where I should be. My boyfriend and I had just closed on a house. Things felt like they kind of came to a stop. Now it's kind of just focusing on how to survive. Bopa accepted a really difficult diagnosis and a very challenging treatment course with complete equanimity, not flustered, just courage and inner strength. She was really remarkable. Whenever I met with Dr. Ostry, I always felt at ease. She has a very calming aura about her. I trusted her with my treatment. She told me about chemo and the likelihood of me needing some sort of surgery. I also had the option of getting shots to preserve my fertility. I had so much fatigue. I'm just laying in bed, feeling like a zombie. It felt like I wasn't living life. <laughs> we really did our best to support Boba through those side effects. She did very well through chemotherapy and her cancer responded dramatically. A lot of the people that I came in contact with at BMC were very friendly and they knew what they were talking about. Nebi, a nurse practitioner, had a really big part on my treatment because she made my appointments feel positive and she was always trying to help me understand what was going on with my body and the treatment. I'll always remember Nebi because she told me that it's always okay to advocate for myself. After I finished my radiation, my boyfriend took me on a trip to Hawaii to celebrate and he proposed. We eloped just a few months ago. After all of the chemo infusions and the lumpectomy, radiation, I'm cancer free. Now it's non-stop home renovations and <laughs> I'm hoping for non-stop travels. When I'm at home, I try to get creative. I do a few different things, calligraphy, making things for people's weddings, making wreaths. I'm going through a planting phase. I know it won't last because I don't have a green thumb, but I'm trying. The people at BMC, especially Dr. Ashri, Nebi, they've really changed my life. I feel like I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for them.